The Upstate Spartans take down the North Florida Ospreys for the second time this season and the second time in as many weeks as they win on the road at North Florida and then return home, reach the 80-point threshold for an 80-63 victory. Phil, a game that was tied at halftime would never have led us to dream that we would be sitting here with a 17-point victory either way, but the Spartans really took this game over in the second half, as you'll see in our highlights. Well, we had a great first half of action between these two. Shunquest Stevens, what a great game. 14 points for the junior from Flowery Branch, Georgia. And really just a, a shutdown performance by the Spartans in the second half. Stevens, you see what he did defensively there as well. Came up with 10 rebounds, and it's a double-double for Shunquest Stevens. You're going to see a lot of number five, as you always do. He led the way with 25 for the Spartans. Coming up with some big baskets in the second half to give up state some distance, create some space. You see Cuthbertson, very confident player, able to knock down some jump shots upstate. Probably the only thing they didn't do well in the first half was allowing North Florida with a lot of easy baskets inside. They cut down on that in the second half as uh, they scored points a lot of different ways tonight. Ty Green, we talked about his 25 points. He's making a very strong bid to become the Atlantic Sun Conference Player of the Year. We'll get to his numbers in just a moment. But you look at so many different contributors. The Spartans end up putting three in double figures, but they have three other players in Buchanan, Cuthbertson, and Schulte, who you're seeing a whole lot of, they all end up with nine points right on the verge of double figures themselves. When you have balance like that on the inside and on the outside, as you see uh, Buchanan put it back, you're going to have give yourself a great chance to win. Upstate not only scored in the half-court game, they were able to get some transition baskets. Their defense created some buckets for them. So when you do all those things and as many variables, as many factors as that, you're going to have a great chance to win, and, and they beat a really, really good basketball team pretty soundly. From without and within, as you can see from those highlights, and you talk about individual performers, we'll look at Ty Green's numbers here, Phil. Your thoughts on a guy who, as we said, is making a very strong bid to put his name in the history books, not only here in this campus, but also in the Atlantic Sun Conference. Well, you see the 25 points by Green, the seven rebounds. So often it's his steal numbers that we end up looking at, but he is a part of a huge glass uh, performance for Upstate with seven boards. Then you see Stevens, probably his best game of the year in a big time game. What a line, 14 points, four assists, 10 rebounds, six of nine from the field. He's got a lot of potential and played extremely well this evening. Double-double for the young player out of the state of Georgia. Here's a look at the overall numbers for the basketball team. Anytime you shoot 50% from the floor, it's going to be a pretty good night for you. Absolutely. And then you look at the turnover numbers for both teams. Just 13 total combined turnovers tonight. Very, very good. And then the rebounding. Coach Payne has talked so much about getting bodies on people in the lane and fighting for rebounds. When you're plus 13 in the rebounding category against anybody, you'll take it. And that, that can oftentimes tell you a lot of the story and why Upstate had dropped 80 on UNF tonight. The Atlantic Sun Conference standings look a bit different than they did coming in. A little more of a tight bunch at the top. You've got Florida Gulf Coast who are hanging on to that 7-1 and one mark, though they were in a dogfight with Northern Kentucky tonight. North Florida now with the second loss. Both of those losses handed to them by USC Upstate, who is now just one off of North Florida's pace and still very much in the hunt for multiple home games in the conference tournament. Of course, the top four all get home games, so Upstate looking in good position at this point. Uh, to get a home game in the Atlantic Sun tournament. Uh, but it's the, it's the Atlantic Sun, as we said. Things aren't easy. Upstate still with uh, a lot to do as we come down the stretch, second half of the conference season. And it continues with just about another month of basketball left, the March Madness right around the corner. You'll want to keep up with everything related to this Upstate Spartan basketball team with center court each Wednesday, released at 6 p.m. on UpstateSpartans.com. We'll get Coach Payne's thoughts on both this and the Jacksonville game Coming up on Saturday, that, of course, is our next ESPN3 broadcast against the Dolphins, the other River City team out of the Atlantic Sun Conference. We thank you for joining us and certainly look forward to that game on Saturday night when the Spartans try to continue their winning ways. The streak stays intact as Upstate takes down the North Florida Ospreys by a final of 80-63.